please welcome our first silver tongue devil ever, Verlis Duran. Tennessee. Tennessee. I came up here uh, to be a writer. Do people still do that? I don't know. I do. I've been writing a long time, but uh, everybody says you got to come to New York, so here I am. Uh, these are some poems from my book, uh, Truck Stop Soliloquies and Honky Tonk Hymns, which I got from a backpack back there for $10. So, Just uh, a few poems. This one's called... Uh, Writing workshops. I went to a writing workshop one time, and they all they did was talk about what I ought to write about and what makes money, and uh, I had to pay them to tell me that. So <laughs> my apologies to anybody who runs a writing workshop or goes to them, but this is called writing workshops. Don't waste your money. Instead, go down to a grocery store, a bar, or a street corner, anywhere in the world. Watch the people and wonder. Which of these are killers? Which have killed or will kill? Wonder how and why. Wonder which of these believes in God? Wonder how and why. Wonder which of these has disfigured children at home? Pot plants growing in the basement? Elderly parents drooling in front of TVs? Wonder who's done time or had time done to them? Wonder who's into unnatural sex acts or who cuts themselves in the bathroom late at night. Wonder where the money came from, the smiles, the laughter. Wonder which of these bought their clothes at a thrift store, sold their plasma to a plasma bank. Wonder which of these has an ex-con for a brother, maybe even a sex offender living upstairs bedroom because he has nowhere else to go. Wonder who's on the wagon and who fell off. Wonder who just says no and who says yes every day. Wonder which of these will go home and beat their children. Which will take them out for ice cream. Which will do both. Wonder which of these will go home and hang themselves. Which of these are going mad. Which of these are already there. Wonder which are vets of foreign wars and animal doctors. Wonder everything. Wonder anything. Wonder if she's going to leave him. Wonder if he'll ever find a job. Wonder if the pain will ever go away. Which of these is shoplifting? Which of these is on food stamps? Which of these has cancer, AIDS, hypertension? Wonder who wants to be a singer, a painter, a writer? Wonder who wants to be anything? Wonder which are hungover, deprived, depraved, disgusted? Wonder which are happy for no earthly reason? Wonder which of these are pagans, priests, pedophiles. Wonder which is the next Hitler, the next Jesus, the next Bush, Obama, Martin Luther King. Wonder there until your soul is full of it. Break your heart and laugh and smile and cry. There at the supermarket, the bar, the street corner, anywhere in the world. And then go home and write about it. Uh, the town I grew up in, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of it. Nobody whooped when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a tourist town. You know, we get a lot of people down there. So uh, This is called King David is Here and Beethoven. Friday night in Gatlinburg, spring almost in the air. Tourists and locals high on its promised warmth, on its potential, on the prophecy of it, this night teaches like a small town Socrates. A philosophy of air pressure, cricket legs and ladybug wings, of pollen and street music, slow and soft in nooks and crannies. Everything is coming out of the woodwork, sleepy-eyed and wondering how the winter could have ever lasted so long, how it could have ever been so cold, a distant memory now, only two days gone. To puckers first, the music too loud, the bodies pressed too close together. Puckers is all tits and asses, legs and tattoos. It's jello shots and drunk girls dancing on bars. It's a hibernation of flesh, larva squirming, half conscious, synapses cold, blind instincts in control. 
and outside spring is taking its first breath. But it's always winter at Puckers, an old winter tomb full of young flesh, spilled booze and loud music. No conversation, just flesh on flesh, sweat, dancing or trying to dance, mindless pagan high priests and priestesses of Baal, making mindless obscene scriptures of themselves, of mindless obscene gods, and how they chant and gurgle and call out loudly for more booze like it's a thing to be proud of. Too young, these are too young. Onto the shamrock, an older folk, acoustic classic rock on the front porch, Russian barmaids and kiss bar stools, dark bar, sliding latch on the one bathroom, Local discount, $5 shots and $2 domestic beers. But the jukebox is too loud and the music too new. So I go out onto the porch, sit there amongst older folk with my shot and my beer and my cigarette. And the guy singing on the porch is pretty good. Just him and his guitar. He's doing old music, good music. Right now he's doing Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone. And he's singing his heart out. Wild, long, curly hair, jailhouse tattoos, and no teeth. He ain't got no teeth. And my God, that is beautiful. And you can still hear the jukebox inside, some blonde rich kid singing about how everybody's got a drug da dealer on speed dial, and hey, 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 I want to be a rock star. And he's a thousand miles away. But right here, man, on this porch is where Beethoven lives. There's a toothless statue, there's a toothless tattooed statue of David here. Shepherd boy, king, psalmist, beautiful. And old people are getting up and dancing, and it's a good time. We're all drunk, and it's a good drunk. And the jukebox rings out of quarters, and it's even better. And I think to myself, somebody ought to put this on a brochure. <laughs> driver for about five years. This is a truck stop I-75. It's air brakes hissing, diesel engines clicking to sleep. A girl with a broken heel and a scuffed suitcase lights a cigarette beside a trash can. The trash cans are overflowing with empty potato chip bags and 20 ounce plastic bottles. They've sold out of Marlboro Reds. A fat truck driver cusses and buys a pack of camels. Showers are running, the dirt and stink of the road sliding from bodies down to tile floors and down drains to other places. The place smells too clean, like a hospital room. You know the sickness is there under the smell of the cleanness. It's a cleanness that's trying too hard and ends up showing its ass. Men comb wet hair in front of mirrors. They brush yellow teeth, picket scabs, and pimples. Old country music is coming from somewhere, piped in from 40 years ago or outer space, Conway Twitty, Tom T. Hall, Porter Wagner, Red Sovine. A man punches a payphone. A cashier is reading an Avon catalog. Two old men are watching Matlock in the TV lounge. The drivers are talking about the road. Even now, it's all they can talk about. Soap can't wash it from their brains. Lysol can't scrape it from their tongues. A man is playing pinball. A man is scratching his foot. The girl with the broken heel asks if anyone is going to Des Moines. The coffee keeps brewing, the music keeps playing, trucks start and stop, air brakes hiss on and off. The clock ticks away hours, ten on and ten off, and men are caught here in between. Matlock turns into Gilligan's Island. 2 a.m., men are getting hand jobs and blow jobs and other kinds of jobs in the cabs of trucks and behind places people don't look. You don't need to look to know it's there. It's like the molecules of the place. This is a place of cum and coffee, motor oil and Vaseline. It takes all kinds of grease to make the world turn. It takes all kinds of grease to get stuff from here to there. I found when you can't find anything to write about, you can always write about writing. So <laughs> this is called Old Muse. Get you a pen and paper, a bottle of whatever you drink. You'll need to drink something. Whiskey or rum or wine. 
or the ghosts of fermented memories, the cries of the world outside like lover wolves. Bottle them up and drink it down. Let it soak into your heart, then wring your heart out like a dirty dish rag. Don't be afraid to get the paper wet. Don't deny the mess. Embrace it. Wash your face with it, your hair, your genitals. Rub it into your open wounds. Shove it up your ass. Feel it right there. Right there. And when she comes for you, you will be ready, unholy for her. And her dress will be comb-stained, the hem scorched, her feet filthy with dirt and blood and shit. Yes, dirt and blood and shit. She has walked through these things to get to you. Her fingernails will be dirty, some broken, torn, and bloody. Her knuckles will be full of defensive wounds, her arms crisscrossed with defensive slashes. Her long hair matted with twigs and leaves and broken glass. Her knees will be scabbed over, her eyes mossy and full of cataracts, her teeth crooked and yellow. But she will see you and smile and come to you, and you will want her to come. You'll get down on your knees, cut yourself with stones, cry out in pagan tongues until she comes. And when the coming comes, you won't know whether her cries are from joy or from pain. You won't know if you're hurting her. She will not say. She will not speak. And when she kisses you, her mouth will taste of ashes. And you will want to lay with her forever. But you must not. It would drive you mad. And she does not want you to be mad. She needs you to be her sane lover. She needs you to go to the pen and paper. Explanation. It's called Rosie's Whorehouse and Post-Racial America. Oh. <laughs> All my poems are true, by the way. My fiction I make up, it has parts of truth to it, but uh, my poems are true, so. Rosie's Whorehouse and Post-Racial America. <clears throat> the Klan still meets right down the road yonder, and on certain Saturdays you can see burning crosses. Children watching with hot dogs and rebel flags in their hands. Later on, many of the men will go down to Rosie's to drink and let off steam. Rosie's got a dance floor. They play hip-hop music because it's good to dance to. They get down to it, hot and heavy. Cowboy and old work boots slide into it, slick with the beat. The girls who work there are mostly black. Rosie herself, who ain't really named Rosie, is white, but she's an equal opportunity employer. She don't have job applications. It's all in how many heads you turn when you walk around the room and how much money you can turn over in an hour. The girls bring drinks and dance and flirt, and the men smack their behinds and flirt right back. These are not girls they would take home to mama, but they might take them into one of the back rooms for $35. The beds in the back room stay greased up and hot with white and black flesh. And Rosie's back pocket stays stuffed full of green. It's always football on the big screen TV. And men drink and tell nigger jokes. While on the screen, a black man throws a white man to the ground. But some are blind to irony. And some rules don't apply to football, music, and sex. And just one more, if I got time, I'll read the uh, bumper sticker. <laughs> this is about a girl, a girl I knew, and it's called Bumper Sticker. <laughs> this ain't New York City. It's Granger County, Tennessee. And this ain't 7th Avenue. It's a county two-lane. There ain't no sidewalk, but there's a little bit of a shoulder between the road and the ditch. She hugs that shoulder like it's her last breath. Ain't no taxi cabs or buses, there's old pickups and chicken haulers and 1967 Novas all jacked up in the rear ends. Her rear end ain't what it used to be, and that ain't saying much. She don't say much, unless she's sure it's safe to say it. She's got wore out souls and a wore out soul. She's got palms full of defensive wounds. She's missing teeth and missing babies and missing letters from names tattooed on her heart. She's got a broken nail and a broken arm that ain't never healed back right. 
She's been road hard and put up wet. She's been road wet, road wet and put up hard. She's been road hard and left laying. She's done time and had time done to her. She owes a twenty dollar tab down at the pub, and the state owes her two welfare checks and three kids. She's got a daddy who knocked her out of the ugly tree when she was six because she wasn't woman enough to handle it. She's been called every name in the book, and she ain't never read a book in her life. She can't read, but she can by God look at the pictures. She ain't never had her name up in lights, but she's got her name on the wall in the men's restroom down at the Four Points truck stop. She ain't scared of zombies. She's scared of fists and razor blades and rides from strangers. But she's got to be somewhere. Ass, gas, or grass. She'll pay what's owed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.